hi and welcome to Leslie's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you a goodie bag I got in the range on Saturday and I have set myself a challenge to do as many items as I can from this one pack. I have it, I have it some written down of what I was going to be doing. So um, first of all, I will show you the pack. So this pack came with some gorgeous ribbon. So you get a metre of each and you get six ribbons in total. And then you get a stamp set, which is this one of the Love Heart. It's red rubber, so it's, yeah. and then I might even try and redo the packaging in some way, but I'm not too sure. That's those two, and then he also came in with these six by six card packs. And one thing I do like about the gorgeous range, even though it is a little bit more expensive. It's the fact that inside comes with yeah, six cards and then it comes with your envelopes as well. It comes with your envelopes as well. But, oops, in all the packaging you have all these extra little bits. So what I'm going to do tonight and maybe tomorrow is just sit down and cut all these little embellishments out so you know these will go into the projects as well so there's that one there and then it also came with a die cut topper sheet as well so all different toppers on there and then it came also with some deco sheets so you know you can decorate your, your boxes with these and other stuff so that's and go think of what to do with that I also got these A4 um, decoupage pack and again you know you've got all of these oops sorry got all of these here to cut out and then, you know, you've got little ones on the top and then you've got bigger ones in the bottom and then you've got like um, a band of them there. And then you've got two sheets of each. Of a die cut equipage. You know, and again one night I'll just spend getting these all laid up and then you've got two sheets of each of the A4 paper as well there you go and then last but not least in the pack you have your 12 by 12 papers and this you've got 32 papers in this pack And again, turn the wheel upside down for you. You've got all of these to cut out. So, you know, I might see with some punches so I can cut out these little embellishments. You know. And you can cut them down the side as well. On the top. And then you've got and in the back as well. So you've got loads and loads of toppers in this pack. And then you've got your paper, you know, your toppers on your paper as well. So I'm going to see if I've got a punch, punch these out on here. 
and then you've got these papers. So I think you get one one in each colour because you get so many in each design. They're all the hair bone like sweater tie pattern on there. Then you've got your your plaid. Tagging all your colours. They're quite like muty colours, so you know some people don't like that. But I try and buy these packs, so the challenge to me of something I wouldn't necessarily craft with, and also gives you a push to try something different as well. There you go. So these are this is like what's on the decky patch sheets so which is for was quite good as well so you've got that style in all the colours then you've got flowers I must have messed these trees up without realising I know I mean you go back to the beginning I think couple of stars and there they go with that one there you go so you get three of those type of flowers paper and then you get three of these type of paper And then you get some more of the tweed fabric style. In all of the colours. There you go. So that's what I've got from the pack. Um, I also picked up buttons to go with it just to add to the style and I've also got these little stamps here which I think is really great there you go so you've got like a little ACT card there I mean, you've got your little stamp on here. So I've got that girl with the little squirrels and acorns. And then I've got this one here. Number 17, the fox. I think it's this one. Number 11, you brought me love. girl dressed up as a fox so these will be added into my projects as well I've just got into I've had pro markers for ages and I've just going to actually properly use them to color and blend still got a bit to go but I'm getting there there you go and then I've had this little girl for a couple, you know, a couple of months and this one in the Little umbrella. I'm not too sure what number she is. So, yeah. So, um, I can't remember where I put my book, but I've got about 12 things I want to try and do with this kit. I'm doing biggest item first because obviously I don't want to run out of paper on that one. Um, and then 
yeah over time I will be doing um the little ones as well so I'll be doing um some show and tells with what I've done with the kit and after I've done everything which I thought of I'll see how much paper I've got left and see what I can also come up with hey okay, Kevin um thank you and join me again soon bye now